Hey, my name is Phil from LegitMarketingReviews.com and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing an email marketing tool called InCharge. Now in this InCharge review, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what InCharge is, how it works, and by the end of the video, you should know if InCharge is right for you. Now just to let you know, there is currently a lifetime deal going for InCharge, so if you wanna go ahead and check that out, I've left some links in the description. So first of all, what is InCharge? Well, InCharge is an email marketing automation platform that really just takes email marketing to a whole nother level. Basically, what they have done is created it for SaaS companies, software as a service companies, but after using it for a few hours, I've seen the potential with this particular tool and what it can do is far more than just that. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is jump behind the screen and show you how this tool works. Okay, so here we are on the InCharge homepage. Basically what I wanna do first is run through some of the features because honestly this tool has so many, I don't wanna miss out on any of them. And the great part about this tool which actually made me sort of jump the fence and actually purchase it was the integration. So first of all, uh, this tool is perfect for SaaS, subscription businesses, agencies, uh, productized services and content creators, but personally I think you can use it for much more than that. Um, some of the features you can use are the flow builder and inside of there you can actually integrate it split test to use all the different types of tools inside of it as well which i'll go through in a sec but more excitingly is the integrations there are so many integrations with in charge it's actually uh, probably the most comprehensive tool that i've used um, when it comes to email marketing lastly i'll just quickly brush over the pricing um, because the pricing is incredible so right now this uh, pricing page shows you the monthly cost of uh, in charge if you actually go to the uh, link in the description which is the app sumo uh, page for in charge you can actually get ridiculous discounts right so if we look at 5,000 subscribers you're looking at one-time purchase of $59 but if you reference that into in charge you'll be paying $100 monthly $99 monthly right and it goes all the way up to 25 thousand subscribers which is $349 uh, per month usually but you can actually get it for just 295 so incredible tool so stick around if you're interested in it I want to show you exactly how it works okay so here we are on the dashboard of my in charge account right now I haven't been using it too much because I've only been at it for a few hours but basically what you will see when you first log in is a summary of how your marketing efforts are going you'll see something like how your amount of people are going inside of your in charge account as well as how many emails have been delivered Delivered, how many have been opened, clicked, replied, and also unsubscribed, as well as spam reports and bounced emails, so you can keep track of how everything's actually going. Now, more excitingly, if you scroll down, you can actually see what's called the activity stream, and basically, this is going to show you what users are doing what inside of your business, so you can see how things are actually tracking. Now, I've actually archived all of my users. Um, basically, I was testing it, and um, I deleted all of the accounts just so you wouldn't see any personal information. Now, if we go to the top, you're going to see five or six different tabs first of all the dashboard which is what we're currently on next you will see the flows which is actually how you can create your automation uh, sort of flow inside of the business you can integrate all of your different services in there too so I'll show you how to do that in a second next we have context and the interesting thing about in charge is they don't believe in lists because lists are actually a little bit too stiff instead they believe in segmenting um, and you can see a lot more of that when you actually get started he talks about segmenting uh, versus lists and everything like that I think it's a very good idea idea and how he's actually done it because it creates more fluid within your business so that's people uh, next we have broadcast which is your email newsletters next we have emails which is your email automation messages and finally we have metrics which can show you the uh, overview of your entire business in terms of metrics or you can break it down to each particular metric or each particular campaign or each particular tag you can break it down really really deep so what I'm gonna do right now is first of all show you the flows so this is the flows section. What I absolutely love about it is they have put folders inside of here. So if you have multiple flows within one part of your business, you can actually put them inside of a folder so you're not fighting to actually find them, which is really cool. Uh, what I also love about this is the pre-made templates they have for current flows. As you can see, I've actually created one from scratch here. Um, but what I will do is quickly show you the different types of flows inside of here. So what you do, click on the bottom uh, plus at the bottom left and click on add flow. 
Now inside here, there's all these pre-made flows already inside of there, right? So you've got things like capture leads with a lead magnet and send a nurture sequence, which I believe is probably gonna be one of the most popular for people getting started with this tool. But there is also a lot of other things inside of here like rev revive dead product leads, as well as re-engage expired trials. So if you do have a software as a service company, this is perfect for actually doing that. You've also got all of these different things like uh, nurture more leads, things like save on your MailChimp bill, which is quite interesting. Um, basically they're going to integrate with MailChimp and take the MailChimp users and put them inside of InCharge so you can actually save money on MailChimp. But what I'm going to do for the sake, sake of this uh, review video is actually start from scratch so I can show you how everything works. Okay, so here we are at the flow builder and just to let you know how things basically work here at the bottom right We have got a section where you can actually name your flow so you don't get it lost for this particular example I'm going to call it the landing bonuses, right? So I'm just basically going to recreate my other one that I created um, And right here on the next we're going to have auto saving going so you don't need to do anything But once it's all complete what you want to do is check this button to actually activate the flow now on the left here You'll see we have triggers. There are actually three different types of segments that we need for it we have triggers we also have actions and then finally we have filters now if you look at this little diagram that they've created you want to start with a trigger you want to then add a filter which is optional and then you want to connect with which is basically your third-party tool so for this example I'm going to show you one that I'm probably going to be using the most and I know a lot of other people will be using which is actually a elemental form connecting with this tool sending out an email and also adding a tag so what I'm going to start with is form submitted drag it into the field you want to click on the click to set up step and inside here you will see this uh, sort of drop down column which is form created with and you want to go ahead and choose your uh, form created or form builder or landing page uh, service so what I'm going to use here is Elementor once you've done that you want to copy the webhook that is available and then you want to name it so I'm just going to call this the landing bonuses um, tutorial right and click on save and once I've done that, it's going to say submit the form attached to the webhook URL to continue waiting for form submissions. So basically what you need to do now is come to your form that you have created. And what you want to do is click on the form, click on edit form. And then at, over on the left, we have actions after submit. We want to choose webhook, right? So it's nice and easy. And then click on webhook. And then you want to paste in this module here. And then you want to click on update right so it's very easy to do it's pretty much 99 percent um, done but what you need to do before you move on is actually add in some demo data so it just makes sure it's working so i'm just going to put fill uh, email can be hello at legitmarketingreviews.com and then click on get instant access and then what I can do is if I go back to here, you can see the information's already gone through absolutely quick. Um, what I want to do is click on continue. And then basically what I do is just connect the forms, right? So name, you want to change to first name, email, you want to change to email. Um, you don't have to fill out everything, so I'm probably not going to add that. But what I am going to do here is actually um, I've added in a... a an extra tag you can actually add an extra tags if you wish um, create new field basically what I've put is subscribed into it's just to uh, remind me which form they actually started with so that's all done I'm gonna click on save and here it is this one's ready to roll now what you want to do once you've actually got it is obviously you're collecting their email so you can send them an email so what you want to do is scroll down to action find send email drag it on right like so and then you want to connect these two things simply by dragging them together. Super easy, right? Next, we want to actually send our email. So once again, click to set up step. And I'm actually going to choose one I've already created, which is this one here. Um, but for to show you exactly how it works, I'm going to open the builder and um, show you how everything looks. So at the top here, we've got subject. You can change your subject. You've got your different from emails as well as your name that's coming from. And then you've got in here your different type of text that you can add and then you've got uh, your unsubscribe button and all that information at the bottom now on the right you've got things like columns buttons dividers headings all of that sort of good stuff you can also add in social icons you've also got things like blocks as well as um, color palettes for your body you can upload images or you can search them from unsplash things like that and then finally there's your uploads column so it's all pretty straightforward it's actually a really easy uh, to use builder once you want to test it, go ahead and click test, um, receive the email, see what it looks like, change what needs to, but it's usually um, what you see is what you get, which is really good. But once you're done with that, press save and close. 
and now that email is good to go so you want to click off come back here and basically if you click off right oh one thing before i actually move forward is when you click on the email you can track replies right now some people don't want to do this some people do um i believe it's pretty good because it helps warm up your emails so if you want to track your replies you can also do that there so once that's done if this is all i wanted to do in my builder i could go ahead and turn that on now if anyone actually goes through my form it's going to go ahead and send them an email the great thing about it is once it's activated you can actually see how many people have been through your funnel um, you've got two different uh, metrics here ones that are there and ones that were there so basically um, everyone's going to end up on this side so you can see how many people actually go through your flow now just to make this a little bit longer what i'm actually going to do is uh, add some different things like uh, add a tag to start with and what you have here is a couple of options so you can pause the flow if you wish um, but most of the time i just reckon uh, continue without pausing if you know exactly what you're creating so what i've done now here is add a tag once again you want to connect the two um, and once you uh, connect them it's going to say proceed on what so I'm going to put it on um, delivered so that means that each time someone actually gets sent this email they're going to get added a tag you can also choose by open if you wish so if you want to segment them from people that are only openers or people that are only clickers things like that you can actually do so on there as well for this example I'm just going to press on delivered next you want to set up a tag which is super easy to do you can actually create a tag right here and then so if I wanted to call this the you know YouTube it says create YouTube right there um, but for this particular example I'm going to choose landing bonus and press save so that's good to go once again shows me how many people have actually gone through it now if we want to add some other things as well right you can come through here and you can see so many different types of um types of sort of actions and triggers that you can have but one thing that i absolutely love in the filters is this has visited page right so you can actually embed a code into your website which i'm actually going to show you how to do and what it's going to do is track how many people actually visit these websites so inside of this email i've actually put a link into one of my pages on my websites just to show you exactly what it does so all you need to do is actually grab has visited page add it to your automation flow like so um, and what you want to do is connect it it's going to look like this and then basically what you want to do is click on set up step and inside here you can actually add in your website page so my one is i might add in the full thing right legitmarketingreviews.com forward slash landing bonuses so i want to track um, in this flow who actually goes to this website so what i'm going to do is choose that you can also have um, contains does not contain starts with is exactly so i'm going to actually going to choose exactly and click on save and now this flow is ready to go so basically if someone comes through here they sign up on this form i'm going to see one here they get the email it's going to show one here they're also going to get tagged which will show one there and then finally if these people actually click on the link inside of this uh, this email which is actually going straight to this page here it's also going to show up a number here so you can see the exact flow in which people are going right and if it doesn't line up with the same amount of numbers then people aren't obviously clicking now to actually set up this conversion pixel what you're going to need to do is uh, go and actually add a website tracking code to your website so you want to click on this little question mark on the right um, just to show you once again so you click on the landing page you'll see has visited page click on the question mark and it's got a website tracking code um, page what you want to do is come to this page click and copy go to elementor and go to custom code and inside here you can actually add a custom code so what you want to do is click on that um, what you want to do is make sure you're also in the head section because this is where your code's going to go so click on head uh, i'm going to call this in charge paste in your code like so and then press publish and then it's going to ask you where do you want it to publish i'm going to choose the entire site because i want it to track everything and go ahead and click save and close so now the in charge code is throughout my website so now if someone actually clicks on it it's actually going to show a person right so if you come back here um, it's going to probably say um, it's looking for a person so what i'm going to do is just refresh this page um, that's all you have to do and then press check again and it's going to say it's received the event right so that's really cool you can also do form tracking um i think it does it automatically once the pages uh the code's been added to the website which is really cool so that step's actually all done so if i go off it click save once again now i have got a working flow and basically what i can do if i really want to hone down in on all my tags is if i click on this i can choose add another tag what i've actually got set up in my other flow 
is has visited and then if I click to set up the tag I'm going to add is warm leads and press save now once again if you want to add a tag you can just type it in so if I wanted to call this the um, website visitors right or something like that I just click on create website visitors and there it is um, for this example I'm going to be choosing warm leads click save and this is all done now this is like a very basic flow you can literally make this thing into a monster see how far you can zoom out imagine how big you can create each flow let's just say you wanted to send another email afterwards i'll just drag these around to uh, have a little bit of room right you can make them go out the side anything like that i like to make things nice and easy like so let's just say you wanted to send another email the next day what you can do is actually drag the arrow down again um, you want to put it on delivered or you can choose once again on open or on bounced or you can actually do all of them on different types right um, go ahead and click save and then what you want to do is send an email here once again drag it through and then you want to go and create your email now if you click on the wait you can choose the amount of time you want to wait so it could be days minutes hours um, and you can choose which one you want or you can actually do it based on you know the different types of days and when exactly it is so it is a very powerful feature most of the time people are just going to use days though which is um easy to do so go ahead and click save and you can make this thing as long as you want like i mentioned you just click on wait again you can send another email after that you can go ahead and wait again you can send another email after that and on the sides you could also be tagging people if they've clicked on certain events so you can see how big you can actually create this thing right it's it's a very very powerful tool and this is why i like it so much because it's got so many integrations um not just to email marketing tools and landing page tools but also things like facebook if you want to add people to custom audience to retarget them to emails it's also got things like um, HubSpot you can uh, integrate with it's also got like Calendly you can add to all these different types of things so powerful this webhook makes the world your oyster when it comes to automation so that is flows I have gone on it a little bit long basically what I'm going to do uh, right now is show you people to show you what uh, people's contacts come out like um, I'll just quickly jump into this form and put in a name just to show you. So, yep, I'll just quickly send this through. Now, if all goes well, which it will, I'm going to go ahead and reload this page. And within a second, as you can see, here is my contact details. So email, it's got my email here, first name. If you're collecting last name, if you're collecting the full name, it's all there. If you're, if you're collecting things like company tags, all that sort of good stuff as well, it can all go in here. But as people go through the flow, they're going to start getting assigned tags um, and all that sort of good stuff. So that's people. You can click on them as well. You can see all the information inside of here. You can also see their activity, which is really important, which, um, which I absolutely love. Now inside broadcasts, you can send your emails. Basically come in here, click on add broadcast. Once again, you can have folders for different broadcasts. Uh, once you have your broadcast opened, it's gonna ask who you wanna send it to. So you can choose from people within your segment. So I've got things here like Landingi bonuses, Javi bonuses, which you can actually choose um, at the beginning, or you can send it to everyone next you want to um, set up your email so once again same sort of thing create the email same sort of builder a b split test if you want it and then finally review before you send so it's super easy to do um, so that's basically the broadcast once again all your emails are in the place here that you've created you've also got your folders on your left which i absolutely love and then finally we have got metrics right so if i come to the metrics you can see all of the different flows that i've had in here all of the different contacts where people have been clicking things like that you can also segment it between your flows so i've actually just created my my two flows here but you can choose the different emails you can choose different times and you can also export it to pdf which is quite amazing right and this is basically the tool absolutely incredible if i go back to flows as well just to show you um what it actually looks like as you can see inside here one person was here sent one email it's taken them here they've got one tag has visited one page because I've actually been to it already. And then it's going to assign them a tag soon, right? One person is here, which is currently me. And then I'm going to get sent the email from there. Absolutely amazing. So what I'm going to do right now, actually jump behind the camera and just say a final few things. Okay, so that was in charge. As you can see, it is such a powerful tool. What I taught you today was literally just the beginning of what is possible using this tool in charge. And honestly, it is one of these tools that you're gonna be using a lot within your business, especially when you start selling products because you can do things like cart abandonment as well as um, retargeting and everything like that. So it all just becomes such an important and vital part of your business. Now, if you wanna get that uh, lifetime deal, once again, the link is in the description. I went through the options earlier. As 
as you can see they're ridiculously lucrative right now there's a good chance they're probably never going to be like that ever again so highly recommend checking it out but apart from that i hope you've enjoyed this in charge review if you have make sure you smash that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe for more videos loads of good tools and free stuff coming out in the near future check out the description too for other bonuses that's it from me guys hope you enjoyed this in charge review and i look forward to seeing you on the next video